Well, it is time to check out the SoCal scene this weekend. And joining us now is Michael Giuliano, who is editor at Time at Los Angeles. And he's got a great list of fun things to do around the Southland. Thanks so much for joining us again. Thanks for having me back. Okay, so it's a big week, MLB All-Star Week, but there's a lot of activities going on. Yeah, so you probably don't even want to look at the ticket prices for the yes. All-Star Game next week, but there's a lot of fun, much cheaper things going on starting mm -hmm. right now. Um, so from now through Sunday at the Santa Monica Pier, mm -hmm. uh, there's basically a baseball theme takeover of the pier. So you'll find oh. like, uh, you know, carnival games on the pier, mm -hmm. Um, sand sculptures themed to baseball. I think even baseball on the sand, which okay. I don't know how that works. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's doable. Um, and then downtown at the convention center, starting tomorrow, you'll find another sort of similar setup, though this one's ticketed. Um, you'll find like Hall of Famers that you can take photos with, different trophies you can see, um, and a whole bunch of baseball diamonds you can play on. Okay, and we've got some fun activities for summer nights. Yeah, so KCRW, the local uh -huh. radio station, they have their hand in, you know, after hours dance parties at mm -hmm. about a half dozen institutions in LA over the summer. But this Saturday is one of my absolute favorites. Oh. Um, they throw this till midnight party at uh, Chinatown Central Plaza. Uh, so uh -huh. KCRW DJs uh, Travis Holcomb and Jason Bentley will be spinning. There'll be food trucks, um, chef demos. It's it's all free underneath really? the neon glow of Central Plaza. Uh -huh. um, and if you can't make it this Saturday, they do ones throughout the summer at places like the Hammer Museum, Descanso Gardens, California African American Museum, MOCA, um, uh -huh. all free, all a really great time. Is there an age requirement for these? Uh, no, I believe it's all ages. Open, open yeah. for the whole family, so it's yes. family fun. Yeah. Okay, all right. And what about the uh, Sunday afternoon concerts? Yeah, this is a really one-of-a-kind concert series. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people might be familiar with Mount Wilson, one mm -hmm. of the kind of signature peaks in L.A., and the observatory on top of it. Mm -hmm. Well, you can actually see concerts in the summer there inside the dome of the observatory. Oh, inside. Yeah. Okay. So, so this Sunday at both 3 and 5, there's a jazz trio that will be performing, um, uh -huh. you know, it's a little bit toasty this weekend, but it's mm -hmm. at least a little bit cooler up there. Yeah. Um, but it's a really amazing opportunity to check out the observatory if you've never been. Mm -hmm. For the like first half of the 20th century, it was one of the biggest telescopes in the world. Yeah. Um, and you can check out an exhibit about the uh, Hubble telescope they have there right now. Mm -hmm. Just a really great collision of music and space stuff. Yeah, and I guess just pack up the picnic and go. Can you bring your own food? You know, you, I'm actually not sure about that. You okay. probably can't bring food into okay. the dome, but there is a picnic area yeah. right outside of it. Yeah, so, a great way sure. to spend a nice evening, yeah. summer evening. All right. And I know it's only July, but we're talking about Christmas in July. Yes, and uh, some much needed cold weather thoughts. Mm, yes. So there's this bar in the arts, in the downtown arts district mm -hmm. here and now, and every Christmas they have this uh, holiday takeover called Blitzen's. Mm -hmm. um, well, starting this week and through next weekend, they're celebrating Christmas in July. Huh. So they're decking out the entire bar with garlands and lights, uh, Santa, carolers, you name it. And then they have a whole bunch of drinks, you know, think... Uh, spiked hot chocolate, mm -hmm. eggnog, um, some food like latkes. Just yeah. a really great way to, um, like I said, think cold thoughts yeah. and get into a festive spirit, even though we're months out from Christmas. Well, though. I love the idea because in December, when we're really dealing with Christmas, it's so stressful. There's so much going on. You hardly enjoy the little things. So in July, when you're not shopping for gifts and running 100 errands, it's kind of nice to get in the There's so spirit. much stuff going on in Christmas, so yeah. I totally agree. It's a great opportunity to yeah. get a taste of it now. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Michael. Thank we you. appreciate it. And you can find more information about these events by going to kcal9.com and clicking Scene on TV.